WordPress is a content management system that includes plugin architecture, customizable themes, and a template system. It makes it easy to create and manage blogs, e-commerce, business, and personal websites. After creating a WordPress instance in LightSail, we recommend configuring HTTPS encryption. This helps to protect website visitors from man-in-the-middle attacks, improve search engine performance, and improve your website's mobile experience. For more information about HTTPS encryption, browse to the address shown on the screen in Wikipedia. In this video, we'll show you how to configure a Let's Encrypt certificate to enable HTTPS encryption on a WordPress instance in Amazon LightSail. Enabling HTTPS encryption with Let's Encrypt is free. For more information about Let's Encrypt, browse to the address shown on the screen. The steps covered in this video include installing CertBot on a LightSail instance, requesting a Let's Encrypt certificate, adding text records to the DNS zone of a domain, completing the Let's Encrypt certificate request, moving the Let's Encrypt certificate to the Apache directory, and integrating the Let's Encrypt certificate with the WordPress website using the really simple SSL plugin. The steps covered in this video are also covered in the LightSail documentation at the address shown on the screen. There are a few things that need to be done before HTTPS encryption can be configured on a WordPress instance. Create a WordPress instance in LightSail, and create a DNS zone in LightSail for the domain that will be used with the WordPress website. For more information about setting up these prerequisites, browse to the address shown on the screen. Okay, after the prerequisites are completed, it's time to get started. By this point, there should be a running WordPress instance, a DNS zone for the domain in LightSail, and the domain should be pointing to the WordPress website. I will use my robbox123.com registered domain for demonstration purposes in this video. To begin the process of enabling HTTPS encryption, install CertBot on the WordPress instance. CertBot is a client that fetches Let's Encrypt certificates and deploys them to a web server. To install CertBot, connect to the WordPress instance using SSH. The browser-based SSH terminal in the LightSail console is the easiest way to connect to an instance. Now we will run a series of commands that updates the instance software packages and then installs CertBot. Enter this command to update the packages on the instance. And then enter this command to install the software properties package. If the instance was recently launched, then a could not get lock error may appear when trying to run the install command. That error may be caused by automatic upgrades being installed on the instance after boot up. If that error occurs, wait at least 15 minutes and then try again. Enter this command to add CertBot to the local APT repository. Enter this command to include the new repository. and then enter this command to install CertBot. The install may take a few seconds to a few minutes. Now that CertBot is installed on the instance, we will use it to request a Let's Encrypt wildcard certificate. This will allow use of a single certificate for a top-level domain and its subdomains. For example, a single wildcard certificate works for the example.com top-level domain and also the blog.example.com and stuff.example.com subdomains. Before I request the Let's Encrypt certificate, I need to set environment variables for the domain to make the certificate configuration commands more efficient. I am using my robbox123.com registered domain for demonstration purposes. Enter these commands to set a domain variable for the top-level domain and a wildcard variable for its subdomains. Be sure to use your own registered domain name in these commands. Enter this command to confirm that the variables return the correct domain names. If you see a result similar to the one shown here with your top-level domain and a wildcard subdomain, then the environment variables are configured correctly and you can continue. Enter this command to start CertBot in interactive mode. 
This command tells CertBot to use manual authorization method with DNS challenges to verify domain ownership, and it requests a wildcard certificate for the top-level domain and its subdomains. Enter your email address when prompted. It will be used for renewal and security notices. Respond accordingly to the prompt to share your email address and to the warning about your IP address being logged. CertBot now prompts you to verify that you own the domain specified by adding two sets of text records to the DNS zone for the domain. Write down the text records displayed on the screen. You will need these later when adding them to the DNS zone for the domain. I will keep the LightCell browser-based SSH terminal window open for now. I will come back to it later in a few minutes to complete the Let's Encrypt certificate request. Go back to the LightCell console and browse to the Networking tab in the LightCell homepage. Choose the DNS zone for the domain. Add the text records provided by CertBot and make sure to save them to make the changes effective. Wait a few minutes to allow the text records to propagate to the Internet's DNS. Open a new browser tab and browse to the address shown on the screen. On this website, we will perform a text record lookup to confirm the text records have propagated to the Internet's DNS before going back to CertBot and completing the Let's Encrypt certificate request. Enter the subdomain that you added to the DNS zone for the domain. If the text records added are listed, then I'm ready to complete the Let's Encrypt certificate request. If the text records are not listed, then I should confirm that the correct DNS records were added to the DNS zone for the domain or wait a few more minutes to allow the text records to propagate to the Internet's DNS. Toggle back to the LightCell browser-based SSH terminal window and press Enter to continue the Let's Encrypt certificate request. If CertBot is able to successfully confirm the text records in the DNS zone for the domain, then a message similar to the one shown here is displayed. Make note of the location where the certificate is saved and the date when the certificate will expire. Let's Encrypt certificates are valid for 90 days. Configure a daily cron job that automatically renews the certificate to avoid having it expire. To do that, enter this command to open the cron tab file using the Vim text editor. Enter in search mode and then add this line of text to the bottom of the cron tab file. With this line of text, your instance will run a search bot to renew request daily at 1 a.m. server time and restarts the Apache service so that the new certificates become effective. Press the escape key and then enter colon WQ to save your edits and quit Vim. Now I will create symbolic links to the Let's Encrypt certificate files in the Apache directory. Enter this command to stop the underlying services running on the instance. Enter these commands individually to back up the existing certificate files, if any. This ensures that the changes can be easily undone if something goes wrong or if we need to revert back to the old certificate files. Enter these commands individually to create symbolic links in the Apache directory to the Let's Encrypt certificate files. Enter this command to start the underlying services that were stopped earlier. To complete the process and integrate the Let's Encrypt certificates with the WordPress website, I will use the really simple SSL plugin. This plugin also enables HTTP to HTTPS redirection so that visitors of the website are automatically redirected to the encrypted connection. Since I'm still connected to the instance via SSH, I will enter the command shown on the screen to set the WordPress configuration file to be writable. This is required so that the really simple SSL plugin can write to the WordPress configuration file to configure your certificates. Now I will sign into the administration dashboard of the WordPress website. Choose Plugins in the left navigation menu, then choose Add New. Search for Really Simple SSL. Install the plugin from the search results and then activate it after it's done installing. In the prompt that appears, activate SSL. To confirm that the WordPress instance is configured for HTTPS, browse to the website's domain and look for the lock icon in the address bar. This confirms that the website is configured for HTTPS encryption. 
In this video, we showed you how to configure Let's Encrypt Certificate to enable HTTPS encryption on a WordPress instance in Amazon LightSail. For more information about the steps covered in this video, browse to the address shown on the screen. Thank you for watching.